Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Renters Now Terrified of High Rise Apartments. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Now, let's get started. Renters are now terrified of high-rise apartments given everything that's been going on over the last few years. They're scared like never before and in many situations with good reason. First, let's begin with high-rise apartments in major cities like New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Miami, San Francisco, and others. In New York, people are moving out of the city in such huge numbers now that high-rise apartment owners are seeing demand for their units drop, dropping precipitously. Not only that, but finding a fixer-upper and renovating it in many major cities is now extremely difficult, if not impossible. Why is that? Because the cities are broke and they're laying off a lot of city employees, like building inspectors, for example. Those are the people you need to, uh, to issue the permits that allow you to begin your renovations. Now, the contractors that people normally would hire to do a reno are extremely difficult to find. When you do hire them, they can't work quickly because they can't get a city inspector to come out in a reasonable amount of time to issue the proper permits. Another problem with high rises is that owners and tenants are finding out how poorly they were built. Many of them were built to substandard specifications you know, they never met the, the, the necessary uh, specifications for the issuance of a certificate of occupancy, yet the uh, city inspectors still issued those uh, certificates. And now that, that some time has passed, those construction flaws and problems, they're all coming home to roost. New owners of high-rise apartments are finding out that their buildings have been built so poorly that when the wind blows, they can feel their buildings swaying several feet in, uh, in various directions. They say that makes it almost impossible to sleep peacefully because they're afraid the entire building will come down. Another problem is that because so many of these buildings are being abandoned, the condo associations are raising the association dues uh, for remaining tenants to cover the amount that the fleeing ex-tenants are refusing to pay. Next, there's the problem with litigation. A lot of these buildings are being sued by so many owners and so many contractors and so many other entities that it's causing prospective new owners to avoid buying a unit there. Next, you have cities like Miami, which is vacating renters and apartment owners out of their buildings because they couldn't pass a recent inspection and the city is concerned that these buildings may collapse the way other buildings have recently collapsed in that city. Another problem with high rises is the marketplace itself. So many people are now so scared of living in upper floor units that they are driving down the prices of those units. Uh, in many places, people actually prefer to live on the first few floors. Remember how realtors and owners would charge a huge premium for an apartment or a condo the higher the floor it was located on was. Now we're seeing a reversal of that trend. Now people are really concerned. And if they're not, a couple months after they move in, they wish they had. There's also a huge quality of life issue with a lot of these high rises. Poorly designed and built garbage disposal chutes in the hallways are a huge problem. Tenants say that when you put garbage into the chute on the 50th floor, by the time it drops 10 floors, it is so loud as it bangs off the walls of the chute that it sounds like shotgun blasts or, M80 or M80s or even small grenades. They can't believe how loud it is going down. And when somebody disposes of their garbage in the middle of the night into one of these chutes, it can wake up half the building on the way down. Next, you have elevator and power outages. Every time there's a flood or some kind of electrical issue or a storm. This, is, this, is, this used to be once or twice a year. Now it's happening every two to four weeks in a lot of these buildings. 
everything in the building will go out and lose power. If you're on a high floor and the power goes out uh, because of another storm or some other mechanical issue, then it's almost impossible to get up and down those stairs, whether you're carrying groceries or just trying to get yourself up and down. So be very mindful of that. Do a lot of due diligence before you, uh, you purchase one of these high-rise units. With that, I want to thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we put up a new episode. Thank you, and we shall see you soon. Goodbye.